one of the most interesting things that you can see right here in the front is this collection of little uh, pins and buttons all in their own tags identifying what they are. Those are all uh, service medals that were um, given to young ladies who were volunteering here um, at USO events on the grounds at Kenmore during uh, World War II. And the young troops who would be coming through uh, for the Fredericksburg area on their way to shipping out to the front would be entertained here at Kenmore. Um, there were fried chicken dinners, there were dances on the lawn, there were, of course, tours of the house, and of course, they were served gingerbread and tea. Um, and some of those young servicemen eventually married the young ladies that they met here at Kenmore as well. We had several uh, wartime weddings that took place on the lawn at Kenmore. So these uh, service pins are actually a really great reminder of, of those days here at Kenmore. This was a happening place. It was a happening place. If you wanted to go to a swinging party here in Fredericksburg in 1944, this was the place to be. And, and the fact that a lot of this has been preserved and you, you, you have a lot of, of artifacts is, yeah. is, is pretty special. It is, it is. I mean, really, that's one of the great stories about, about Ken Moore and the George Washington Foundation is not just the preservation of the buildings and the sites, it's also really the collecting. Uh, the collection has um, been growing for this entire century and uh, people have remembered to save all of these little bits of the institutional history as well. So we have a lot to build the exhibit out of. I mean, just in this case alone, in addition to the pins, there's um, the hat, the poofy colonial style hat that you see in the back. That was actually the hat that Miss Annie, one of our founders, would wear when she was wearing her colonial costume okay. in the 20s and 30s. Um, so she became very famous for that, that big frilly hat sitting on top of her head, and somebody thought to save it. And there's also an advertisement for the dromedary gingerbread mix that you can see the figures yeah. of um, Mary Washington and George Washington there at the top. And it actually explains the history of the, the cake mix and mentions the Kenmore Association as well. And that would appear in magazines all over the country. I look at this plate and yeah. that looks just like Kenmore does today. It does indeed. And that was a huge um, fundraiser and seller that the ladies did for a number of years. Those were uh, Staffordshire plates that were um, made over several different decades, several different colors, several different styles that were sold here in Fredericksburg, um, usually through our gift shop, which of course was very famous um, in the early years of Kenmore. Um, but a lot of women who were married here in Fredericksburg would receive those plates as wedding gifts. So there are a lot of them in a lot of china closets here in town. And this is all part of an exhibit at Kenmore through this year that really tells a great story about Kenmore. It does. In honor of our centennial year, we're really telling um, not just the history of Kenmore itself, but the history of how we saved Kenmore, how Kenmore was preserved, and all of the energy and all of the women that took part in that.